And you guys remember the melancholy of Arugi Sujimiya Endem series, right? Season 1 was made in 2006 and Season 2 was made in 2009, but there was a movie called The Disappearance of Arugi Sujimiya. It was made in 2010. Some people thought the melancholy of Arugi Sujimiya Season 3 will exist, but it hadn't. The melancholy of Arugi Sujimiya Season 3 was probably fan-made. So one day, I was on my computer, reading the massacre of Arugi Sujimiya on the Creepypasta Wikia, and I was also playing Mujin, and on Saturday, when we were at the Gloucesters, the place where Stefan's parents lived, I was going into the forest, where I used to climb trees, and while I was climbing a tree, I saw what caught my eye, it was a DVD case lying on the front, it was just lying there, on the ground, it looked like a regular DVD case. I climbed down from the branches and picked up the DVD case, and as I did, I put the DVD in my pocket, and on the next day after Saturday, we got home and I went to my room, I took out the DVD case from my pocket, and I noticed something on the front of the DVD case, there was, written on it in Sharpie, I could hardly understand Japanese, I went to Google, translate and it said, the massacre of Arugi Sujimiya 2. The Massacre of Arugi Sujimiya 2? There's a sequel? I thought to myself, if it's much worse than the first The Massacre of Arugi Sujimiya, I'm gonna go crazy. I began to feel nervously suspicious, but my curiosity overtook me. I inserted the DVD into my computer, and I started up Windows Media Center, and clicked Play DVD, and as I did, it loaded the menu screen, but the strange thing was, there was only two options, one was Play, and the other was Set Up. The background was white, and above the two options of the menu screen, there was red text that said, the Massacre of Arugi Sujimiya 2, the font, was in Australian Sunrise, I began to click play on the menu. And it started the episode, but there was no intro at all, instead there was red text that faded in a black background, saying, previously on The Massacre of Arugi Sujimiya. And as the text faded, the announcer said this in a disordered and demonic voice, previously on The Massacre of Arugi Sujimiya. And there was music playing in the background. The music was Escape, which was made by Craig Armstrong, except it was slowed down minus 13%. The text faded out in the screen, faded back to what happened from the massacre of Arugi Sujimiya. The scenes were black and white instead of being colorful, and then the scenes faded to black. It faded back to a logo that says, The Massacre of Arugi Sujimiya 2, in a bloody background, from the Melty Blood series, the blood was dripping, down from the two, and the music was still playing, and as the logo faded, the announcer said this in a demonic and satanic voice, and now, it's time for... The Massacre of Arugi Sujimiya 2! I knew it! This is the massacre of Arugi Sujimiya 2 all along! I said. Then it faded to black. It faded back to Arugi who was still covered in blood, with Nagato laying on the rack, with her body cut open. The room was still dark and dirty, and the floor was still covered in blood. Then Nagato said, You can't do this, you just can't do this. Arugi started to laugh insanely. Of course I can! After all, I am a god! She yelled and screamed. Nagato then took her last breath and passed away. Then it cuts to Carlos walking in the hallway of the school. What the heck? Carlos wasn't supposed to be in the Haruhi Sujimiya Anim series, I said. Even though he is one of my stick figure OCs, he doesn't appear in the Haruhi Sujimiya Anim series, but he appeared anyway. Then Carlos went to the door to the room that was still dark and dirty. And as he opened the door, he saw Nagato laying on the rack, dead, with Haruhi beside her. Carlos was shocked about what he saw, then he took a deep breath and yelled out, Haruhi! You monster! You just killed Kayan, Mikuru, Koizumi, and Nagato! Then Haruhi turned around and said, How did you know? I saw this in a creepypasta, called The Massacre of Haruhi Sujimiya. It told me that Kai and Mikuru, Koizumi were dead, and everyone's bodies were sealed away. What? How does Carlos know about a creepypasta? I said. Then Carlos yelled again, And you killed Nagato, and now she is dead. You're going to fucking pay for this, Haruhi. 
This is where things start to get creepy. Harugi closed her eyes for about 10 seconds, and for 5 seconds, some music started to play in the background. The music was Reincarnation. Reincarnation was one of Saddest Zero Easy's scenes. Saddest Zero Easy was a cheap Donald edit that was made for Mugen. The strange thing about the music was that it was slowed down minus 5%, and after 10 seconds of keeping her eyes closed, Harugi opened them, revealing two black soulless eyes with red pupils with blood dripping from them. Suddenly, Haruhi pounced on Carlos and grabbed him by the neck, causing him to choke. Then Haruhi said, Shut up! You're about to meet the same fate they had Carlos! You're going where they're going. To hell! Then Haruhi pulled out a knife. Haruhi tried to stab Carlos, but she couldn't. Carlos got away and screamed as he ran as fast as he could. Carlos, you get back here right now! said Haruhi as she began to chase Carlos while holding a knife in her hand. Carlos kept on running and running until he came to a dead end. Oh shit. A dead end. Said Carlos. Then Haruhi slowly approached to Carlos as she said. That's right. A dead end. Your end is near Carlos. Your end is near. I was starting to get nervously scared at this moment and I didn't want to watch anymore. I moved the mouse and the cursor over to the red X at the top and clicked it. When I tried to stop the video, Haruhi turned around, looked straight at me and said this in a demonic and satanic voice. Oh no you don't. You're going to help me, even if you like it or not, Josh. I gasped and thought to myself, how the fuck does she know my name? Yeah, that's what I thought. Haruhi remarked. And now my heart was beating and I was shaking nervously. And as I continued to watch, Haruhi continued to slowly approach to Carlos. And as she did, Haruhi raised the knife as she said, Like I said, your end is near. Before Haruhi could kill him, Carlos screamed and yelled out, No Haruhi! Don't do it! Don't! But Haruhi didn't care, Carlos screamed and yelled out again, No! Suddenly, Haruhi began to stab Carlos, then it cuts to black and all you could hear was Carlos screaming to death, but the screaming didn't sound like his voice, it was the same screaming from Sonic EXE, you could also hear stabbing sounds too. After about 20 seconds of a black screen, it cuts to a hyper-realistic picture of Carlos lying in a puddle of blood, dead, his body was cut open and his guts that were torn out were beside him. Oh. My. Freaking. God! Why would Haruhi kill Carlos? I said. Then it faded to white. It faded back to Haruhi with black soulless eyes, with red pupils and blood dripping from her eyes. The hallway was covered in blood. It showed that scene for about 20 seconds, and after about 20 seconds, it cuts to a scene where Haruhi gets out of the school. For some reason, the sky turns blood red in the scene. Then it cuts to a edited picture of Haruhi Sujimiya with the same black soulless eyes, with red pupils and blood dripping from them, while the blood curdling screaming from Suicide Mouse Avi and stabbing sounds laid over the screaming. The scene happens for about 20 seconds. Then it cuts to a scene of Haruhi killing Tyler, Sherry, Leopold Slick, who was known as AGK, Arthur Reed, Spongebob and Patrick, with a gun, and the same knife she was holding. What? Tyler, Sherry, Leopold Slick, Arthur Reed, Spongebob and Patrick weren't supposed to be in the Haruhi Sushimiya fandom series either, I said. After killing them, she stood on top of one of them with the same black soulless eyes with red pupils and blood dripping from her eyes from before. Then Haruhi said, Excellent, now all that is left is... Ria's Dreamery! What the fuck? Ria wasn't supposed to be in the Haruhi Sushimiya anime series either, I said. Even though I like Ria's Greenery, she doesn't appear in the Haruhi Sujimiya anime series, but she appeared anyway. Then it cuts to a club room of the Kyo Academy. It showed a C, Ria's, Akino, Asia, and Kaneko in the club room, talking about something, but it was hard to hear with static being heard in the background. You could hardly make out what they're saying. Once the static noise ended, Haruhi breaks the door and they saw her with black soulless eyes, with red pupils and blood dripping from them. Asia began to scream, then Issy said, What are you gonna do to us?
Then Harui said, All of you? Oh, no, not all you, just the big rested redhead. Who? Sadasi. Rhea's Creamery! Yelled Harui, everyone but Rhea screamed, Don't worry, let me handle this. Said Rhea's, then everyone but Rhea's began to hide. Rhea's took out her wings and she began to fly. Harui took out the same gun from before. She tried to shoot Rhea's, but she couldn't. She kept missing every gunshot. As Rhea's dodged every gunshot, Rhea flew out of the club room. Oh no you don't! Said Harui, as she began to chase after Rhea's, Harui tried to catch up to Rhea's, but she ran out of breath, then it cuts to Rhea's flying out of the Q Academy. Q, I think I lost her. Said Rhea's. Then Harui teleported behind Rhea's at the Q Academy door. What the? Harui can't teleport. I said. Then Harui got out a chainsaw and ran to her as she said, Time to die, Rhea's! Then Rhea's turned around and saw Harui with a chainsaw. Suddenly, Rhea's began to gasp, then it cuts to black and all you could hear was Rhea screaming to death. But the screaming didn't sound like her voice. It was the same song a key screaming that I had heard earlier. You could also hear chainsaw sound effects too. After about 20 seconds of a black screen, then it cuts to a scene of Rhea's lying in a puddle of blood, dead, with a chainsaw in her body, and her wings were gone. Haruhi then shouts, in a demonic and satanic voice I had heard earlier, Goodbye, Rhea's Creamery! <laughs> then it cuts to static for about 15 seconds, and after about 15 seconds of static, it cuts to a picture of a dark, empty room from Dejardo Avi and Carlos Avi, with dead corpses of Kai and Mikuru, Koizumi, Nagato, Carlos, Tyler, Sherry, Leopold Slick, Arthur E, Spongebob, Patrick, and Rhea's Grimmery, Haruhi was standing between the corpses with those black soulless eyes, with red pupils and blood dripping from them, while smiling, Kayan's head was on a spike, with his body laying down, his body wasn't doing everything but laying there. Mikuru looked worse. Her head was on the spike too, but her eyes were gouged out and blood was oozing from her eye sockets. Her body has been hanged by her entrails. And above Haruhi between the corpses, there was the end in bloody text. And there was some creepy music playing in the background. The music was the Sonic CDUS Game Over music being played in reverse. It showed that picture for about a minute, and after that, it cuts to red static from Sonic EXE for 15 seconds. And after 15 seconds of red static, it cuts to a disturbing image. It was a picture of Haruhi's head facing me. She had the same black soulless eyes, with red pupils and blood dripping from them, and she has smiled dog's mouth, except she has sharp teeth that was the same color as Sonic EXE's teeth, even though his teeth appeared to be white sometimes, but they also appeared to be that color, and on top was a text saying, I am God. I was getting nervously scared as shit at this point. And then the red static flickered three times, and on the third time it did the distorted and demonic Kefkala from Sonic EXE. Then it cuts to red static again but the noise being louder and more distorted for a good ten seconds. Then it stopped and showed nothing but black screen for fifteen seconds. Instead of the credits rolling, there was red text saying, You're next, Josh! The font was in chiller, and as the text came up, it did the ending scream sound from Sonic EXE versions 3, 4, and 5, and then it cuts to black and the episode ended. I cannot believe it! The DVD actually knows my name! I said, I was able to stop the video now. And as I was sitting there for 10 seconds, I heard a voice. It wasn't like a whisper, but it was a demonic and satanic voice. Scares you, didn't it? Would you like to watch it again? And as I turned around, I saw what scared the crap out of me. It was a Haruhi plush with black soulless eyes, with red pupils and blood dripping from her eyes. The plush was sitting there on my bed. Then I immediately took out the DVD from my computer, put the DVD back in the case, and I went outside, and as I did, I dug a very deep hole, put the DVD case in the hole and buried it, and then I ran back to my room. And as I did, the Haruhi plush was gone, so, if you see a sequel of the massacre of Haruhi Tsushimiya, don't watch it. Because if you do, it's gonna give you nightmares. Stay away from it, just stay away from it I say.